Well, hello and welcome to tutorial 30 in this series of uh, TradeStation Easy Language tutorials designed to help you learn Easy Language. If you're not a member of our email list, then please go to markplex.com. That's markplex.com and sign up there, and I'd be happy to uh, let you know when I create new tutorials. Today's tutorial is actually a very simple one. It's just we're just going to demonstrate the the buy functionality in TradeStation strategies. Uh, the slight twist is we're going to do this using intrabar order generation set to false. Then we're going to do the same thing with intrabar order generation set to true. So let me just show you the actual program, which is extremely simple. Uh, what we're doing, we're putting this directive up at the top here, which is setting intrabar order generation to false. Uh, with, we're creating a variable MP, which we're setting to zero, and we're calling, making it intrabar persist variable. We're also creating something called count ticks, which will just increment every tick. And that's also set intrabar uh, persist. So count ticks equals count ticks plus one. The uh, MP variable is set to market position. And then what, what we're saying is if it's the last bar on the chart, if the time is a certain time, we're just going to change this in a minute. And if we're not in a position, then we're going to buy, using this label, Tutorial 30, five contracts next bar at market. Couldn't be simpler. And then what we're doing, if it's the last bar on the chart, we're printing the date, the time, MP, and count ticks. So let's just look and see what time it is on the chart at the moment. And uh, you'll see that that is the 1317 bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the program if I think we've just gone to the 13 1319 oh, bar and one of the issues here is that the uh, it's um, 118 Pacific time so we're sort of a little bit mo losing a few bars so uh, I'm going to set that to 1320 and we'll see if we get a bar on 1320 I'm just going to validate that and go to back to the chart so so look we're currently on bar 1319 um, hopefully we will get a bar at 1320 and 21 and you'll see the reason for that in a moment so I'm just going to watch this I will probably edit this so that you're not sitting here watching and waiting for a new bar to form um, so the time in the tutorial may be a little compressed to what it is what it actually is. Okay so we have got a 1320 bar and as you see nothing has happened at the moment because the program is set to intra order generation as false and we've uh, we haven't got to the next bar yet where the actual trade will take place so let's just check that this works according to spec and in fact, I said the uh, there we go the, the next uh, the next bar, uh, which happens to be thirteen twenty one. We have actually got into a trade there. So um, you can see then that even though the um, the order was looking for th thirteen twenty, we actually got into the trade at thirteen twenty one. And if we just go back to the program, we'll see the reason for that is because we say if the time is is thirteen twenty, then buy next bar. Now, what I'm going to do now is set the uh, intrabar order generation to be equal to true, and we'll then look at the same program and see how it behaves differently. I'm going to press F3. Now, the first thing we'll notice is we get this, this warning coming up, and this is basically telling us that we've changed our calculation, intrabar calculation settings. And if we actually go, I'm just going to clear this here so we don't get any confusion. If we actually go back to the chart now, you'll see that the strategy is no longer applied. So we need to go in there, highlight this particular strategy, press status to make it go back on, and the, um, the strategy is now applied. And you'll see that um, this thing will keep on incrementing count ticks, even though the time is not changing, because we're now going into the bar tick by tick. So what I'm going to do here is we're just going to go and modify the program a little. Well, let's just check what time. Well, it's 13.21. So what we're going to do, we're just going to change the uh, time to 13, let's say 13.22 and see what 
happens when we do that. So 13, oh, actually it's a little bit slow. I'm going to make it 13.23 and I'm going to press F3 to validate that. And let's just go back to the chart. So you'll see now the time 13.22. Hopefully we will get a 13.23 bar. And yes, we do. And so what you'll see here, I'm just going to highlight this so that it doesn't it doesn't move, is that on the first tick of the 13.23 bar, market position is zero. But on the very next tick, market position becomes one. So um, you can see the difference there that rather than waiting for the next bar with intrabar order generation set to true, then we actually make the buy on the next tick. And... Uh, that is the difference. Anyway, I hope that uh, that is a useful, if uh, rather simple, uh, tutorial. Uh, again, if you're not on our Markplex mailing list, please go to markplex.com and join. And uh, thank you very much.